welcome to another work from home day in my life. I did a lot of batch filming yesterday, so I have a lot of like computer and editing work to do. So I think I'm going to head over to the new Foxtrot in Alexandria. I think it's like a 15, 20 minute drive, but parking is like way more convenient over there than it is for the Georgetown location. So I'm super excited to see it. I already did my skincare and now I'm drinking my greens and my collagen. I kind of want to dress nicer today. So I think I'm going to pick my outfit out before I do my makeup just in case it's something that will get messed up with my hair and makeup. I have this white bodysuit somewhere from Aritzia that I think I want to wear today. Where is it? Oh, I think this is it. It's just like a short sleeve shirt bodysuit. Nothing fancy. I'm going to do it with light wash jeans maybe. And then maybe this little hoodie thing in case it's cold in there. Right, outfit is on. Let me do my makeup really quick. I'm using the Kosas foundation that I always use. And a beauty blender. And then the Kosas concealer too. I got products from Item Beauty in the mail. And one was this bronzer. But it's really dark. Kind of looks good. My favorite cream blush is the Tower 28 in Magic Hour. And then I got new highlighter too. There's a couple stores I want to go to while I'm in Old Town. I really want to go to the Sephora over there because I did a return and I have store credit to use up. But I can't use it online so I just want to use it while I'm thinking of it. I think I'm either going to get a new heat protectant for my hair or um, refill on a moisturizer that I have that I ran out of. I have a little bald spot in one of my eyebrows so I'm going to try and fill it in. That worked well. This is Item Beauty too. It's their brow chow. Can you see this? Look at what one side of it is. It's this cute little brush. I'm going to use the same Anastasia Clear Brow Gel that I always use. L'Oreal Eyelash Primer. And then this is the Max Stax Mascara. I honestly have a love-hate relationship with this. I feel like my eyelashes look good like four days a week and then the others, they just don't. Maybe I shouldn't be using that primer with it, but I got a little on my eyelid. Let me set it all. And I got these little clips from Target yesterday. I'm wondering if it would be cute to like pull some sections of my hair back and braid it. Maybe if it's like back more. I think I'm just going to clip back this top section a little bit so my hair is not on my face while I'm working. But, oh, my perfume. I almost forgot perfume. I have never gotten more compliments from strangers on a scent than with this one. I honestly don't think I've ever gotten compliments from strangers on a scent. It's the Seven Virtues Santal Vanilla. vanilla. But, like I was going to say, I need to finish drinking this. I'm like halfway through. Okay, let's go. minutes away and it's right next to H&M which is the other place that I wanted to go I didn't finish this thought earlier I want to go to Sephora I want to go to H&M and then maybe if there's time I'll go to the Alexandria Goodwill because that one um, if I remember correctly it's usually pretty good so if I have time we'll go there if you're unfamiliar with Foxtrot the best way that I would describe it is like a convenience store like coffee shop cafe um, they have like a lot of unique little food brands and alcohol brands in their little convenience store section and then they also have like a full service cafe so I'll probably get coffee there their food is really good but I actually already meal prepped oops but I actually already meal prepped a lunch today and I don't want to be wasteful so I'm just going to get a coffee to start and then I'll probably get like another drink or something throughout the afternoon just so I'm not sitting there without buying anything I prepped a Greek bowl for lunch and I filmed it as part of my lunch break series on TikTok so I hope it turns out really good. I have, that's one of the videos that I have to edit today. And I want to work on my email newsletter. I really want to start an email maybe like weekly or bi-weekly as in like twice a month. I need to come up with what the actual categories in the email would be but I want to do like on the menu maybe some things that I've been like eyeing maybe I haven't bought yet but like in my cart section of the email I don't know I just kind of want like all things that I've talked about over the past like couple weeks in one spot because I know it's not realistic to expect someone to consume like every piece of content that I put out on like every platform so I think if there's just like one spot where it was just like a quick debrief of like things that I've been talking about or things I've been liking 
or eating or buying that could be nice and it would be a nice way to keep up with my content without having to sit through like a full video let me know your thoughts on that paid for my parking and now let's go get some work done my parking expired so I'm gonna walk back to my car and see if I can add more time to it because um, I still want to run to four and H&M but I only got two videos edited and I wanted to get like four so I'm gonna have to do some more work when I get home but let's see if I can park longer I can't add more time with my app so I'm just gonna have to use coins like the olden days <laughs> I found a couple things. I'm gonna try it on and see how I like them. These are the linen shorts. I like them, but I don't know if you can tell. They're like very see-through. You can like see my bodysuit. So I don't think I'm gonna get these. Okay, totally grabbed the wrong size in these, but the length is so good. So if these were my size, I would probably get them. I'm trying this on with my bodysuit still on because I know if I take this bodysuit on and off, I'm just gonna like smear my makeup all over it. These are not the same orange, so that's kind of sad. And I like the idea of this, it's just kind of stiff, so I don't think I'm gonna get this either. I don't think I've ever talked about this, but my boyfriend and I actually moved to Alexandria before we lived in Arlington. So we had a studio apartment in Alexandria, and then from there, we decided to move to our place in Arlington. So we used to come down here a lot. Okay, my camera was about to die so I didn't bother trying to film in Sephora just in case it did but I got two things I have a couple long weekends coming up so I got the travel size of the perfume that I wear you probably can't really see it that well but it's the perfume that I showed this morning and then I also wanted to get the travel size of this tower 28 spray but I saw they had it in a gift set with um, a full-size Kosas product that I've never tried but I like Kosas as a brand so I figured I would like to try that and like a mascara and more like lip balm stuff. It's called the Clean Me Up Kit. Let me just see what's in it. So it has the Tower 28 spray that I wanted to get anyways. This little Merit lip thing. I've tried this before. It's okay. I don't know. I might give that to a friend. Um, an Item Beauty lip gloss, which I've been liking Item Beauty lately. So I'm excited to try that. A little Ilia mascara. So that'll be good for travel. A Say like glowy stuff glow gel maybe it's a highlighter i don't know and then the last thing is that like kosas eyeshadow apparently this is full size so i don't really feel like going to goodwill so i'm just going to route home and i'll finish my work day there okay change of plans my boyfriend was working in the living room so i just decided that i'm gonna walk to a little co-working area that's like in our neighborhood um so that way i don't have to worry about parking and i'm just gonna finish up my workload there oh. This is the type of place that you like scan a QR code and order on your phone. I'm gonna pick something to drink. Ooh, you know what? I'm just gonna get a Diet Coke. I'm working on my Princess Polly Selects right now, but I decided to just get fries as like a little afternoon snack. This is my cart so far. I feel like it's gonna take me another hour or two, so I'm gonna take a break, but I found some cute stuff. I'm so excited to try those pants. It kind of has the little like crossed waist situation. I've seen so many girls wear this top and it looks so flattering on, so I'm hoping it'll be the same on me. I just finished this video edit for Oat House. I made Pop-Tarts and then frosted them with the granola butter. It's so good. My computer died, so I had to move inside to find an outlet, but I found this little corner of this place that's so cute. It's like this little bar. How cute is this? I'm just gonna sit in the corner and finish my to-do list for the day. So apparently that little bar that I found was a fully functioning restaurant, and I felt bad sitting there and not buying anything, so I got a mint julep, but now I'm on my way home. I'm gonna stop at Safeway and get some last minute ingredients for dinner. I think we're gonna have fajitas. 
I got what I needed, but I think I have packages in the mailroom too. So I'm gonna check that on my way up. So dinner turned out I just made fajitas with peppers onions and then we did refried beans some mashed avocado sour cream and then lime to squeeze over top of it we're gonna go get ice cream so I'm putting on sweat shorts instead of the jeans and while we're out I think we're gonna go to Wegmans because I really want to get edible flowers for my next cocktail video on TikTok. I feel like it would be so cute to make a cocktail and have like a little flower on top and I think the only place you can get edible flowers is Wegmans or Whole Foods, but the Whole Foods around us doesn't have any, so I'm on a mission to find edible flowers while we're out. I see them. Look. I ended up finding the edible flowers at Wegmans, and the best part is, is that um, I researched it and bunnies can have edible flowers so I'm gonna give a couple of the uglier ones to Polly just because I know I won't need them tomorrow for my recipe she doesn't want it all right folks we have an update Polly just ran over and ate one of her flowers it's like two hours later eat the other there's another No, go eat the flower. Okay, I guess I'm gonna hang out with Polly for a couple minutes because she clearly needs some attention. And then I'm going to finish like four more things on my to-do list. It should be pretty quick. I just finished the last of my to-do list for tonight. Throughout the day, if I think of stuff that I have to do the next day, I'll just jot it down in my notes app. So right now I already have written down that I wanna film six videos tomorrow. Um, I need to post some videos. I need to do some more Pinterest posting for myself and for Oat House. And then I also signed up for a solid core class tomorrow at 5.30. So I just jotted that down too. I find that if I just take a couple minutes at the end of the day to kind of like brain dump whatever I A, didn't get to or B, like already know that I have to do the next day. If I just like throw that into the notes app, um, it makes my morning go a little smoother because I don't have to like spend the first 20 minutes of my morning figuring out what I have to do. I kind of already have some stuff to hit the ground running. And then if there was anything else that comes up, I just kind of add that to the list too so I can make sure that it stays like in front of my mind. Clearly, I'm a very list-oriented person. I know that some people like don't function off of to-do lists. I cannot imagine living without a to-do list constantly going. I think I have, I'm looking at my notes right now and it's all lists, like old to-do lists too but I just like need, I need a list at all times. I'm taking these whey thin pills, which kind of makes them sound like a diet pill, but it's for thinning hair. Um, they just discontinued them and brought them back under a different name, probably because it sounds like some gimmicky diet pill, but anyways, these are the ones I'm taking. They had great reviews. They were like 25 bucks a box, which was super reasonable, I thought. Now the ones they just came out with are like 50 bucks a bottle, so that's not really, I feel like, as realistic to buy on a monthly basis. Um, I'm going to look into different options. I'm going to do a whole TikTok video on like my lash routine and like lash products. But I am in the market for a new lash serum. So if you have one that you like, let me know. I just put that Sunday Riley Luna oil all over my face. It's blue, that's for sure. And the hair goes into a braid still. Another random thing I've been doing is hand cream every night. My hands are very neglected in terms of skincare. All right, well, I'm done for the night and it is past midnight now. So I'm going to go to bed. I have to tuck Polly in. And by tuck her in, I mean lock her in the bathroom so she doesn't take at the door. But thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.